How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your very own customizable boss for your Minecraft realm or world. And it's really simple and easy to do. I mean, there is a lot of command blocks behind me as you can see, but the command blocks are pretty easy to do. And if this video does help you guys out, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Honestly, this is going to be a really nice tutorial and a lot of you guys really wanted this video out because I put a poll on earlier this week and a lot of you guys really want uh, how to make your own custom boss. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And lastly, if you guys do want to join my Discord, it'll be linked down below. This Discord is for minecraft players as well as people who follow me on tiktok instagram and all my social medias so definitely join it but anyways let me show you guys exactly how this thing works so um i'm gonna grab my sword my netherite sword from my inventory and i'm gonna go to this button right here that says spawn the boss so what i'm gonna do is click it it will spawn a boss and as you can see the name is titled boss it has a diamond helmet it has a sword well it's pretty much a wither skeleton and as you can see on the top of the screen there's also a wither bar which shows the health and up there you can actually see the wither as well from when it spawns in but as you can see i can start hitting this boss and as you can see the health is now going down on the health bar on the very top i'm gonna hit this boss until it dies and when it dies as you can see it will die it'll say server gabe dala has killed the boss and i receive a mob key as well and it's really cool and as you can see up there that's where the wither it also dies with it so it gets rid of that boss thing on the top of the screen and yeah it lets everyone know that you just killed the boss you also get a reward if you want to add this the reward is optional but yeah i think it's really cool you can name the boss whatever you want and uh yeah let me show you guys exactly how to make this behind me is step one and before i start this video um i'm gonna need you guys to do these commands for me so you guys don't get any spam in your chat and you also could use your command blocks infinitely without the world so the first one is slash game rule send command feedback false the second one is slash game rule send command feedback false and the third one is slash ticking area add circle tilde 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 four and then after this you can name this whatever you want and i'm gonna name it blocks as you can see on the top left it says a ticking area with the name blocks already exists that's because i already have one and the reason why i gave you those three commands is because the first two game rule ones it will get rid of the spam from the command blocks using repeating commands because in this tutorial you'll have repeating commands and the ticking area lets your command blocks be used throughout the whole world and not just this little area we're in so the first thing you want to do is give yourself a command block and to do that do slash give your name command underscore block and you'll receive one in your inventory the next thing you want to do is place them just like this so place three in a row make sure they're all facing the same way because if they're not facing the same way and one looks like that it will not work but make sure they're all facing the same way as you can see i have three in a row and then let me do three in a row and then one next to it just like that as you can see it's pretty nice uh the first command block on the left side we're going to start here it's going to be a repeat unconditional always active and this one is slash replace item entity at e bracket type equals wither underscore skeleton comma name equals and after this equal sign is going to be the name of your boss after this name you can name it whatever you want for me i have a boss you can name it hero brian you can name it boss you can name it monster but remember however you spell the name after the equal sign is going to be used throughout the whole tutorial and you cannot mess it up so because i have this sauce symbol a i need to add this sauce a in every single other name that i'm going to be using but yeah just remember what you name it it could be boss just like this without any of the letters it could just be boss it could be hero brian i don't know if i spelled that right or it could be monster just like this but for me i'm gonna have it sauce a boss and then if you want to change the colors back instead of having the rest of the text green just do sauce f and it'll be all white again but after that you want to do an end bracket and then slot dot armor dot head one keep diamond underscore helmet one nine 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 and once you have done your first command block you should be set the second command block is going to be a chain conditional always active and this one is slash damage at e bracket type equals wither and bracket 20 entity attack and what these first two command blocks are doing is that every time you hit the skeleton it's going to get rid of the diamond helmet and also it'll damage the wither as well every time it replaces that helmet and then the third command block is a chain conditional always active and this one is slash replace item entity at e bracket type equals wither underscore skeleton comma name of the boss and bracket slot dot armor dot head one diamond underscore helmet one nine 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 and then after that third command block you go to this one that's alone it's going to be a repeat unconditional always active and this one is slash effect at e bracket type equals wither underscore skeleton comma name equals name of the boss and bracket resistance nine 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 225 true and these are nine nines if you wanted to know what that number was after you get that first step done the next step is going to be here and it's pretty simple so what you want to do is you want to grab your command block and you want to place it down like this and you want to grab a redstone comparator place it just like that and then after that you could grab whatever block you want and i did a quartz block 
Then you want to place a redstone torch just like that. Grab a piece of redstone just like that. And then you want to place four blocks in a row just like this. But again, make sure that all the command blocks are facing the same direction or else it will not work because it will mess up in between the blocks. So yeah, just make it like this. And I will start going through this left side right here for this first command block. It's going to be repeat unconditional, always active. And it's really simple. Slash test for at E bracket type equals wither and brackets pretty simple like that then going down this command we are going to do this one it's an impulse unconditional needs redstone and it's slash kill at e bracket type equals wither underscore skeleton comma name equals and then name of the boss and then end brackets and what these first two command blocks are doing is that this first one is obviously testing for if there's a wither which the wither is going to be in the sky and every time that wither dies it's going to set off this little comparator it's going to set off these command blocks and then this one is going to kill the wither skeleton with the name of boss or whatever you named your boss and then it's going to run this command after that which is going to be a chain a conditional always active and what you want to do for the server note on the top left is you just want to name this server or you can just do server without any of the colors but i'm personally going to do sauce e sauce l and then server and the reason why it's called server is because when you kill the boss it's going to show the whole server that you did something and this command input is slash say at p has killed the boss meaning that's going to tell the server that the closest player has killed the boss which should be you or whoever else is closest to the boss and i added the sauce c symbol to make it red and i did the sauce a sauce l to make the boss in all caps in green now the command block after this one is going to be a chain conditional always active and this one's really simple it's slash play sound random dot level up at p and this is just making a sound effect every time you kill the boss and this last command block i'll get back to this one is optional and this one is what gives you the key or gives you an item or a customized item whenever you kill the boss i'll come back to that one because that goes along with that pretty much uh but if you go next to it you want to do the same thing you want to place a command block then a comparator like this then you want to place another command block which it doesn't matter how this second command block is facing but this first command block is going to be a repeat unconditional always active and this one is slash test for at e bracket type equals wither underscore skeleton comma name equals and the name of the boss and then end brackets and this command block after the comparator is going to be an impulse unconditional needs redstone and this command is slash summon with their boss tilde tilde 35 tilde and uh, again remember whatever you named the boss in the very beginning make sure it's exactly the same as you can see throughout the whole video this boss was named sauce a boss sauce f and what this is doing is that it's going to summon a wither 35 blocks up in the air and um you could do it as high or as low as you want if you're in the sky then you obviously want to do instead of 35 you want to do negative 35 or something the second tilde is the y-axis meaning up and down or you could spawn this right or left depending on however you want to spawn it but yeah because this is 35 in the air and if i go all the way up 35 let me go up here really quick as you can see there's some loot right here from the from the wither as you can see there's a big box right here where the um wither is going to spawn and i put a lot of barriers up here because again this is 35 blocks up from where that command block is and the wither spawns in here so that it cannot get out and escape and destroy the world and that's exactly why i have this barrier thing and to receive a barrier just do slash give your name and barrier it's really simple like that and you'll receive one in your inventory but yeah i made this like six by six box i believe it is so that the wither can stay trapped and it doesn't destroy anything in the world now once you have all of this done the last thing you want to do is if you want to give yourself a specific item then you're going to want to use this command block but the first thing you want to do is figure out what item you want to give your player so for this one i'm going to give them just a totem just like a normal totem i guess i'll rename the totem as well so let me rename the totem to boss killer or something like that boss killer and i'll just rename it that uh you also want to give yourself a structure block as well so do slash give your name and structure underscore block and you receive one in your inventory once you place it down you'll see that there is a lot of white lines and you might be confused about this just don't um it's really simple to just figure this out but anyways these white lines are pretty much the area where this command block or this structure block is uh picking up so in order to fix that just go to size and under the x y and z make this all a one instead of a five and as you can see on the right side of the screen these will all make this like dirt black you know it'll be highlighted and then for the offset instead of negative one of a y it's gonna be a, just a normal one and then it should look like this it should be a blank top and as you can see it looks just like that and this one should also look like that i'm not sure why it's not but i'm gonna just play out there so once you have it looking like this you just want to throw in the item you want to give players and you can rename them rename the item or do whatever it could also be enchanted as well but once you do that uh you just want to put put your little item in the little box on top of the structure block and go inside the structure block and you are rename this whatever you want so i'm going to name this boss key and once you name it whatever you want you can also see it on the right side of the screen you just want to click save 
and then the next thing you want to do is at the end of this uh command block chain is you want to place this fourth command block and this one's going to be a chain conditional always active this one is slash execute at at p run slash structure load and in these parentheses you're gonna do the name of what you just named your structure for me i think i named it boss key was that what i named it i'm not exactly sure what i named this thing yeah boss key all lowercase and make sure it's case sensitive so because it's not boss key with a capital b i'm gonna change this and that to lowercase and then you want to have those parentheses on each side not parentheses i meant quotation marks on either side of this so it's load quotation mark boss key and quotation mark then after that it's tilde tilde one tilde zero underscore degrees none true and false but once you have all that complete the whole thing should be set up and now you want to do is just find a way to spawn the boss and in order to spawn the boss you could type this in chat or you could just do a command block like i did and i just put a button on it but for this one it's an impulse unconditional need redstone and it's slash summon wither underscore skeleton with the name of the boss and again the name of the boss has been the same throughout the video it's sauce a boss sauce f and then i did this four blocks away from the command block so it's tilde for tilde tilde but yeah you could also just do tilde 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 like this and it'll spawn right on top of the command block but i did the four so that spawns four away from it but anyways once you have that complete you could just click the button and as you can see it will spawn the boss right here and um as you can see up there the wither is actually stuck in this barrier up here let me go up here as fast as i can yeah the wither is stuck in this barrier so it won't do anything and it'll just spawn in and once that wither is fully spawned in you are now able to hit the skeleton and the skeleton will take damage as you can tell and once i kill this boss i should receive that totem i renamed killer boss or boss killer or boss key and as you can see on the top left of the screen it says server gave dallas killed the boss and now in my inventory you can see i have a totem that says boss killer but yeah that was the tutorial and it looked like a lot and hopefully it wasn't it seems pretty easy and straightforward hopefully it was for you guys i know you guys are smart and you guys could probably handle that but yeah if you have any issues or anything just leave them down in the comments below either i or someone else will help you with it but again if you have any issues just go through the video a second time because it's really simple to miss something like whether your command block setting is not correct or if you type something wrong in one of the commands it's really simple to miss something but yeah if this video did help you guys out don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel but yeah before i go youtube is recommending this video to you guys and if you guys do enjoy this video i'm sure you guys will enjoy the next video that youtube is recommending for you guys but anyways my name is gabe and i'm out peace